Good morning on this Saturday, the sixth day of Pray 21, 2021. I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. I, uh, I remember when I, was really, when I was really small, I walked through the living room of our house, and on the TV, there was this cheesy old movie about giant spiders that were attacking this town. And that's the first memory that I, that I can remember of being really afraid of spiders. And as I would grow up, I, there was a point where I was really, really scared of them. Um, in fact, I was sure when I got to seminary, I, I just knew in the 2,000 year history of the church, I was gonna be the first one to discover a translation error in the Bible. And that it would really be in the Hebrew that it would really say it was an evil spider that tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and not a serpent. Now, big surprise, I was wrong. It really does say serpent. But uh, I still think that spiders are evil, and I, think that, um, I still think that at any given moment, there's probably one in the room plotting my death. But, uh, but really, truthfully, they don't bother me as much as they used to. In fact, if I'm really being honest, the things that cause me fear or anxiety today are a lot bigger than just spiders. It's things like the future, things like my kids and their future and their well-being, things like finances, things like, um, you know, th things that are going on in the, in the world today or in our culture. Um, those are the things that cause me to have moments of fear or anxiety today. Let me ask you, what are the things that cause you fear today? What are the things that cause you anxiety? Even as you're sitting here watching this, what are the things that bring up feelings of fear and anxiety in you right now? The truth is, it's perfectly normal for all of us to have moments of fear and anxiety. We all go through that. Um, but I, I want to I share a verse with you. David wrote these words. This is from Psalm 34. And David wrote this at a time when the king of the land was, was chasing after him to kill him. So this was a very fear-filled time in David's life. And in the middle of all of that, he writes this. This is Psalm 34, 4. He says, I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all of my fears. Now, like I said, it's normal for all of us to experience fear and anxiety, but the good news is we don't have to be enslaved by fear and anxiety. I believe God wants to set us free from those things. But the truth is, we do have a part to play, and when I think about our part to play in that, I can think of no bigger or better or more important part for us to play than to simply own those fears and anxieties. Name them. Wear them like a shirt. Tell somebody about them. In fact, start by telling God about them. I mean, after all, in that verse, David says he was, he was delivered from those fears. He was set free from those fears when he prayed to God about them. So I wonder, I know it's Saturday, I know you probably have a lot going on today, but could you just take some time today, if not now, then sometime later today, could you just set aside 10 or 15 minutes or even five minutes to just pray to God and be honest with him about your fears and your anxieties and those things that are troubling you today? Would you just pray to him, just have a conversation with God about that, and then make the conscious decision to trust him with those things that are causing you fear or anxiety. That is our prayer focus for today. Let's pray. Father, I do thank you for your love. I thank you for, uh, for setting us free, including setting us free from our fears and our anxieties. I pray for anyone who might be watching right now who's just filled with fear over something in their lives or something in the world today. Um, I pray, Father, that that person would sense your presence right now that they would hear the truth of your word that we, that we read in this verse, that their spirits, their souls, their minds would be calmed by your presence and your peace. And Father, I pray that you would help us as a church and help us as your people not to be people of fear, not to be people who are paralyzed in our fear and our anxiety, but people who look to you and trust you and go about the work of your kingdom. So Father, we do trust you. And we give you thanks today in Jesus' name. Amen. 